Okay, so. All right, guys. Uh, let me pull this up, and let me tell you what today's uh, today's quick tip is about. All right. Let's see if this. Uh, I'm gonna describe it, and you tell me what's going on, right? If if this is happening to you. So you shampoo the carpet. Sometimes you just put your tank on, right? And then you notice either you notice that it's dripping, okay? Water's just coming out, or uh you finish shampooing the carpet and you let's say you move it over to the side somewhere and the water is still spilling out now i saw it so i got a comment earlier this week um or was it you know, late last week but about this topic and uh, a person said that they looked through my videos and didn't find me covering this particular thing so uh let's see let's see okay and then we kind of do a process of elimination all right all right here we go first thing if it's just dripping and, and you're not doing nothing, the first thing we're gonna do, okay, we wanna see what's going on, right? Uh, let me turn this down. Let me, let me turn the, the camera down to here, okay? If you don't mind not seeing me, I'm sure you're okay not seeing my face, right? <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, uh, if this is the the new, the Pro Heat, uh, the, the uh, Pro Heat, the Pet Pro, you should have these tabs here, okay? See that? All right, so now let's do this. Now what you're gonna do with your experiment, you're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna put your tank with water in, okay? And let's just see if it's just bubbling up in this section right here, okay? So, so if that's the case, if this is what's happening, all right? Then we gotta figure out that, all right, something is releasing that water without your trigger, without you giving it a uh, you telling it to to release the water is being released that's the first step so you have you first have to recognize is uh, is this part of my uh, the system is water just coming out of here you know by itself all right all right so now uh, let's assume that it is and then we're gonna do a second part where it's not okay so let's say well if it is doing that then what what that's telling me let me not, then my other video will cover that right the other videos that we have about the trigger, right? Without, without, you know, dragging this one out, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna see if I can link that video or something about the trigger, understanding the trigger, okay? All right, so that means something is releasing the water, it's pushing down, see if your trigger is stuck, okay? Let me pop it up so you can see what I'm looking at up top here. See if this is stuck. See if you have some resistance up here, okay? Uh, the resistance is telling me that it's trying to push down. Uh, let me slide this over a little bit. That the trigger is trying to push down on our little tab down here, right? So that's part one, all right? And um, then, okay, so that's done. <laughs> if you have more questions, uh, let me know if you have more questions on this area, okay? So if the moment you put your tank on, just a little recap, the water is just pouring out of this little knob right here. That means it's that your your machine is triggered to to it's, it, your trigger is um is jammed to on, and we need to rectify that. And my other video talks about that. Okay, good. Now, let's say it's not. So what you would do is turn your machine on, press the trigger to see if water bubbles when you press the trigger. Right? That's letting you know that the trigger's working fine, the water, everything is working fine, and the problem is not in your machine area alone. The problem is somewhere in here. Now we're gonna go to the, to the, to the source. All right, and just check. Check to see what's happening, you know? Um, you know, is, is there a crack? Is there anything going on that we don't see? If everything looks great, there's not much more you can do other than the fact that you have a leftover water just kind of hanging around and it's just seeping out, okay, all right? Uh, what you can also do is um, hook it up, okay? Watch what I'm doing. We're just doing some problem solving, guys. Just thinking as we go, right? Hook it up. You don't have to do the whole thing. Just, right, we're just doing this little section right here. Hook it up, turn it on, right? Spray. See if that's what, see, see if the water comes out like regular, okay? And then watch it. 
Watch and see if there's water in, inside here. What's happening? Is it still pumping? Then if it, if it seems like it's still pumping, just see what's happening right here. Give me a second. I, I gotta take this phone call. So, so, that, so, okay, so that's what we're doing, okay? So you really wanna find out why is the water still leaking after I finish shampooing? Why is it still leaking or why is it leaking the moment I put my tank on here? And all these little uh, uh, tests and, 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 and process is just to find out where's the problem where is it coming from and, and what's going on and if it's not a thing if it's just leftover water can I deal with that can I live with that uh, there are times when if, if I have two of these on hand I would try another one to see how that one reacts that's the benefit of me being in a position where I have access to these machines um, so you know um, that's kind of you know you know so all right, so that's that's the one thing I would do. Now, here's the other uh, machine. There's the Pro Heat. This is the Pro Heat Pet Pro. Let me see how it would play out on the Pro Heat, the regular Pro Heat. All right, let's see. This is the regular Pro Heat. All right, let's take this off. Right. And let's see if it, if this if we can do the same test. Okay. Okay. It's hard to do that. It's hard to do this test with this. You would have to, okay, look here. <sighs> you would have to remove the body. You would have to remove here and here. I have a video showing how I removed all this stuff, but that, you know, that's how you would have to test to see if, that, if this is doing the same thing. But you still can see right here, see the section? You can still see if water is still pumping through here. You know, you can see it. So you would turn it on, put the water in, turn it on, spray, okay? And then wait and just see what's happening. You know, what's what's the water doing? Is it just hovering? Is this, is this you know, hanging in there? Or is it still pumping, okay? And that's, that's how we do our process of elimination. I hope this video was able to help you guys. Um, there's, there's not a whole lot more than that, if, if you feel there is, please leave a comment or ask ask a question. I'll be more than happy to walk you through it or something. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.